We all want prayers that are effective so much that we always focus on the result of the prayer rather than the privilege of what we have in the prayer. Well, today I'm going to teach you guys how to pray effectively with good results and with a good mindset. Hey, what up guys? My name is Jackie. Watching Once Upon a Church here today where I show you guys awesome Bible studying tips and prayer is one of them. So this video is about prayer. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe to this channel and also follow me by clicking on the notification button so you won't miss anything. Now, whenever we pray, we always expect something incredible from God. We hope to have a good car, a nice good husband or wife, or just like a cool job, or even a best friend. Wherever we have petitions for these things, we always seem to not be able to see what we want. I think that many of us forget that developing a relationship with God is more important than what we expect to get from God. So it's always good to prepare our mindset whenever we pray. Now, practicing a prayer to me feels like it's more like a YouTube comment. Here's an analogy of why I mean. To me, practicing prayers is like writing a YouTube comment to my favorite YouTuber. Now, imagine yourself watching an awesome YouTube video from a YouTuber that you really love. They make a really pleasing video for you to watch and you want to write a comment about it so you say like things such as oh that's so nice that is so cool you're so good looking for me let's say Casey Neistat well you would really really want them to reply back to you right now in Casey's example he probably get millions of comments every day and it's really hard for him to reply to each and one of you and if he replies to you you'll be so happy right oh he replied to me even more astounding is that he is hearing you and helping you in your needs. Sometimes it doesn't even matter what you ask him or what he says to you. It's the fact that he took the time to reply to you out of the millions of people. Do you feel special? That's the same way we should feel about God. The fact that he is actually talking to us rather than what we should expect from him, right? It is an amazing feeling that God is talking to us and that we are so special to him. And if it's his will, then he will help us. Do you know what the best thing is? He loves you. And the fact that he loves you he puts you first. He loves you more than anything in the world. And if he is for you, then who can go against us? So if you want to practice praying to God, think of God as like a YouTuber. Think of him as someone that you really admire, that you want to watch every time, and you want to comment and also subscribe to him, of course. So that's actually the prayer mindset that we should have for God. Not that we're expecting something more importantly, but more of a developing relationship with him. So in the next half of the video, I want to talk about a simple format that Jesus himself practices his prayers the way he did 2,000 years ago. Jesus himself either prays during the day or during the night time. That time is when he can give his undivided attention to God. For us, it could be us waiting in the train. We aren't doing much anyway. It could be running on the treadmill. Please God, help me lose some weight. <laughs> or even when you're just driving around. Just calm down, please. Please God, I just want to pray for Jackie here's driving skills. Lord, I just want all right, Mom, I, all of his skills. I literally have Jesus on me right now, the shirt right here. Pro tip, don't close your eyes and don't let go of the steering wheel. Okay, now that you're in a good place to pray, now it's to start the prayer. The first thing that Jesus does is praise God. Even in the book of Psalms, David always gives praise to the Lord himself. And let's face it, he actually deserves it. God deserves every praise that we ever give him. He created everything anyway, right? Things that we can say is how mighty he is and how awesome he is. Even songs of praise is a good idea. Next is we can always talk about our petitions, like the things that we want to ask from God and help you in life. What are the areas in your life that you need peace in? Ask God to deal with things according to his wisdom and his will. Dear God, please help my viewers press the subscribe button and also the notification notifications button so that we can support this channel and spread out your word God. Amen. Next up is the confession. We always have sins in our hearts. We have things that we are not proud of doing and it's important to ask for forgiveness whenever we pray to him. Addictions, greed, lies, all these sins disconnects us from God and it's important to ask for forgiveness not that we deserve it but because Jesus earned it for us. Last but not least, we should always give thanks to our Lord because He is awesome. He deserves all the credit that we ever did in life, that we, the, the existence of our lives is what we need to even give thanks for. Even the smallest details in our lives is enough to give thanks to God. Thank you, God. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Jackie. You're watching Once Upon a Church. And I want to ask you guys how you guys pray at home. Definitely write in the comments below what you think about this video. If you like this video, definitely click on the like button and also share with your friends on how to pray for them. I was going to make a Bible studying video, but I want to change it up to make a little prayer video since prayer is a part of Bible studying, if you don't know. 
I think that this is a really good video and I really enjoyed making it. Anyways, my name is Jake and I'll see you guys next week, okay? Bye! Uh